Hello, I uh, come to you today with a little quick chat on probably famous last words, Paying the Land by Joe Sacco. Joe Sacco is most famous for his journalist comics about people living in war zones from the Gaza to the Balkans. Uh, in this, his newest, newest book, uh, he took him to the Northwest Territories. Uh, he visited the Dene communities to ask for their views on, on res resource extraction uh, on their land. And what he, and um, I'm actually stealing a lot of that from uh, an interview he did on uh, Canada Land, a uh, podcast about Canadian, Canadian media, where he admits as he started this, he thought, oh, Canada, the, the, you know, those really nice people living, living up north. Uh, Joe Sacco is an American. Uh, and uh, he thought, oh, well, they've probably gotten resource extraction right. I'll go up there to get the kind of the, the good story before I then go around the world to kind of like, you know, do the darker, to the, do the darker stuff. What, of course, he found was, is that no, Canada has, has a horrible Horrible record on uh, on on resource extraction, uh, the amount of damage and stuff that we've done, and he found that the story that he was going to tell was one that is inextricably linked with uh, the colonialism of of Canada, of of how came that they came onto the land, and you know that that these are people living under horrendous conditions with uh, with uh, on, with tons of real of, of all the horrible social ills that come from uh, a, 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 a outside power coming in and colonizing you and trying to destroy your destroy your communities uh, to uh, as as uh, John as John A. Macdonald the the the, the uh, very first prime minister of Canada said to kill the Indian and I say Indian in quotes because uh, at least up here in Canada that is not, we, uh, indigenous people, native people are not referred to as Indians anymore. At least not by big old whitey, by like, like me. So yeah, um, he's, um, Joe, so Joe Sacco's, this, this book really um, does a great job of being a beginner book for people who are completely ignorant about the situ situation up there, which I would definitely include, include myself. Uh, and, um, and does a really good job of introducing you to the story. And he does this by interviewing uh, the Dene people themselves, the various different um, pe peoples that make up that blanket thing of the indigenous people of the of of the uh, of the north of north of the Northwest Territories. Um, and gets lots of differing points of view from the Dene about exactly what should be done, how we should, act, how they want to, how they want to approach uh, resource extraction, because it's not, it's not as, as an outs, as outsiders who are, who want to just smush a people into one big monolith it is not a simple question and not everybody agrees on it and everyone's got their own motivations and he does uh he does quite a good job of actually allowing people to have their point of view and i can see and also just to say how fiendishly complicated it can be um there are peoples here who have overlapping claims on on lands uh the uh, federal government has had has basically had a sort of divide and conquer policy of we'll get one 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 community to agree while the other ones aren't and breaking it down and and you know get getting in there that way um not to mention just all the how horrendous uh this stuff can do uh the uh, the whole idea of paying the land is uh comes from uh Dene belief in actually respecting the land and listening to it and and uh it's in a way that actually gets kind of well communicated in this book. You start to get a kind of a glimmer of what that might mean in contrast with, uh, with, Oh, we have all this arsenic. We're just going to dig. We have all these big caverns. We're just going to shove it into these caverns. And, oh, it'll last a hundred years. And you can see from, um, well, a environmentally a hundred years, does not make any sense just scientifically, but that the Dene are saying, no, I need something that's going to last that whatever, however we are going to do something, this is going to have to last generations upon generations upon generations. Uh, frankly, a point of view that uh, we have, we have not had 
and we are now re we are now suffer we are going to suffer under the uh the whole thing of climate change which is pr which guess what H hammers the people of the north first is going to hammer us all down here as well and if and it's probably too late uh to prevent it but we are if we do not switch to a a much more some an attitude towards uh land use uh, that is far more close to uh to peoples like this it, it, that would do the job now as for the particular style of uh joe sacco he i'm um, here i'll look i'll flip to one page that i thought was kind of a, a good one of he does not he is not using i i, I did uh one a while ago, which was very much kind of a, gr a grid, a grid organization. This does not use a grid organization. Um, this far more, you're, 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 when you're traversing, when you're traversing the page, you're traversing this, these, these text, these text bubbles, which are each illust, which are each commenting on an illustration that is, that is beside them, uh, conveying a lot of information, conveying a, a surprising amount of information in each distilled, in each distilled bubble. Um, and it's a great way of when he is interviewing someone of filling the reader in on all the kind of the other, the information that the, um, that the interviewee has that Sacco is then able to illustrate to kind of give you a slight more gl glancing idea of, of what's, go of what's going on. Um, I think someone at some point says, it's like, you know, why are you writing, why are you making a comic on this? This is something serious. This isn't something you should make fun of. And Sacco is very much, um, is is on a serious project here to actually kind of to educate but educate in a way that doesn't defeat you i think if someone had presented me with just a tome of a book that's on resource extraction in the northwest territories i would i wouldn't i would never pick it up i bought this i bought this because i know that in the hands of someone like joe sacco uh he's going to make this something that i can actually kind of digest and there's something about having visuals uh visuals to show uh the way of life of uh of Dene Dene peoples um and also just of of the extraction of these um octopus like um creations this is something for fracking um it actually i'm getting the jingles down below of, of fracking actually makes it it makes it into something that actually kind of penetrates you and is, is a great starting point for it now yeah joe sacco an american based out of uh, portland oregon he's not the final word and he does a great job of presenting various viewpoints but this is something to start with for myself but the next the next step is to then find uh dene writers uh indigenous people in general of the north and 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 get to hear their stories from the from themselves but this is like this was a really good start for me and i'm i, I am a big fan of uh, joe sacco and of um he is i i think uh in the interview uh that he, he did on canada land with uh jesse brown jesse brown says like well he's probably the best comics journalist there is in the world there's probably about 50 i think he he said he thought there was probably about 50 of them in the world but it's like this is an untapped way of of actually communicating great amounts of information in a kind of a graphical the 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 marriage of text and picture somehow is doing it and i know that like you know you could say oh this this is also maybe the way a documentary would work but um it's such a great way of organizing and condensing uh, a large amounts of information in and um maybe also just the yeah yeah so that is my very semi brief thoughts on paying the land by Joe Sacco. If it's if you're looking for somewhere to start, to start on what is a really complex, um, you know, issue with a deep history into just the foundations of Canada, uh, you know, as an outsider on that, I found I, I think you might find this really useful. Um, and uh, hopefully, if uh, Hopefully, if you're someone who actually lives in the north, uh, you 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 know you're you're going to see more. You'll you'll see where the gaps are and stuff like that. But that, I I don't view this as an end all be all. But wow, what a wonderful way to start off on it. All right, I will leave it there. More videos later.